In this video, we're going to look at a proof of the sine rule, noting that in our previous video, we found a formula for the area of a triangle. So we're going to start with the same triangle we had before. We're going to have opposites labelled with A's and A's, capitals for angles, lowercase letters for the sides. Here's our three opposite pairs. And then we're going to remember that in our previous video, we showed that the area of this triangle by using the height was given that the area is a half AB sine C, which is using one of the three SAS's that you can have in this triangle, which is going to be this one. That's going to be a half AB sine C. Um, you can also have a half BC sine A. That's going to be the SAS given on the left side, this one. And then thirdly, you can have a half AC sine B, which is the um, angle sandwich given at the top. So that's going to be given in green. OK, so these three expressions are clearly equal because they each give you the area of the triangle. Now, it only takes one extra step to get the sign rule proved, and that's to divide all three sides by a half ABC. OK, notice that I can do that because none of these are going to be zero. I can't have a triangle with, with a zero for their sides, so I'm allowed to do this. OK, it um, doesn't mean that I'm not dividing by uh, zero in any case. So if I do that, dividing by a half ABC, um, ABC, then the halves are going to cancel out because I'm dividing all the halves away. And then if I divide by ABC as well, then on the left side, my A and my B are going to cancel out. I'm going to end up with sine C over C. If I divide this one by ABC, then the B and C will cancel out, and I'll also divide by A. And if I divide this right-hand side by ABC as well, I'm going to get A and C cancel out, and then I'm going to divide by B. Okay, so that's the sign rule proved in a very, very easy step that follows nicely from the area of a triangle. So if you remember from GCSE, you can see the sign form, the, sorry, the sign rule written in this form. Um, normally you'd put A's and B's and then C's, but the order doesn't particularly matter. And you can also have the reciprocals too, depending on uh, which of the uh, six um, quantities you want to find out. So this is an alternate form. OK, so it gives you a really nice uh, formula that, that links the, the, uh, the three opposite pairs of a triangle together. Um, and stay tuned for another video in which I'm going to go through some examples. But now you know at least where it comes from. All right. Thanks. Year 12. See you soon.